Welcome to Dazzling Stepping Stone. Today we are going to discuss about measurement with two electrodes and recording problems. Let us discuss about two electrodes based measurement, need of medical recording and different noises in recording. What is electrode? We know that electrode is a device which convert ionic potentials into electronic potentials. It is used to measure ECG signal, EEG and EMG signals. It is used to measure the potential across the interface. So that the potential is generated due to the movement of ions into the body. For measuring this potential we need two electrodes. The voltage is measured between the difference between these two electrodes. See this figure. We are measuring ECG signal and we are keeping two electrodes on the body surface. Different types of electrodes already we have discussed. These are the different types of electrodes. All these electrodes are used to measure the potential from heart, brain and nerves. Next type of electrode is needle electrode. So this electrode is used to measure the potential from the brain. This is the very sharp electrode. We have to keep the electrode on the scalp. Next type of electrode is micro electrode. It is used to measure the potential within the cell. The diameter of the cell is varying from 0 0.05 micrometers to 10 micrometers. If you are keeping this electrode into the body, definitely it won't damage the human cell. There are two types. We know that metal micro electrode and micro pipette electrode. Now we are going to discuss about measurement with two electrodes. We have discussed what is electrode, what are the different types. Now how to measure using two electrodes. Let's go. See this. This is the equivalent circuit of biopotential electrode interface. Here we are having two electrodes. See this is the equivalent circuit of first electrode. This is the equivalent circuit of second electrode. Now we are connecting resistor because we will keep the electrode into the body fluid right. Into the body and the body is filled with fluids. So this body fluid is also having some resistivity so that we are connecting resistance here. Now we will measure the potential across this lead and E2 potential we will measure across this lead and we will find the difference between this two potential that is called as potential difference V equal to E1 minus E2. Even if both electrodes are made by same material it may create some noise or artifact we can say. So already I told that the noise may be generated. I discussed this point. The voltage measured is the difference between the two electrodes. And the measured voltage is also called as electrode offset voltage. What is offset voltage? To make the output of the amplifier to be zero, we have to give some input voltage that is called as offset voltage. See, even the, mat even the electrode's material is same. It may produce some offset voltage. Due to the chemical activity in the electrode, there will be some voltage fluctuations. This voltage fluctuations may appear as noise at the output of the device. So this noise we have to reduce by choosing proper material and by coating the electrodes with proper material so that we can improve the stability. So the best material for making the electrode is silver, silver chloride and it is very stable. So how to prepare silver, silver chloride electrode? So we can prepare this electrode by coating a pure silver with silver chloride and we can keep this electrode into bromide free sodium chloride solution and the second piece of the silver is also placed in the solution and we can make connection to the voltage source. If you are considering electrode, definitely we have to give importance for the impedance of the electrode. If you are taking surface electrode, the impedance value will be 2 to 10 kilo ohm. If it is needle or micro electrode, it will be having higher impedance. Consider this. This is the body fluid. So the body fluid is having lots of ions like sodium ions, potassium ions and chloride ions. So due to the movement of this ions, the potential will be generated from the body. So the surface electrode is also called as the electrochemical transducer. Why we are calling this as electrochemical transducer? Because 
due to the movement of ions only the potential is generated so this ionic potentials are converted into electronic potential so that we are calling this as electrochemical transducer right while measuring this potential there is a possibility for addition of noise along with the signal okay so the reaction takes place at the electrode that make the electrode itself a source of noise now we should know what is electrode skin interface see this picture now we are fixing electrode on the body surface so the interface between the skin and electrode is called as electrode to skin interface so we have to record the biopotential of the patient for giving proper treatment so the important source of information is recording of potential from the human body we know that we can measure different potentials we can measure different bioelectric signals ecg eeg and emg by using surface electrodes due to the ion movement definitely there will be a current flow into the body and the electrons and ions are arranged in specific way so that across this electrode electrolyte interface this arrangement is called as electrical double layer the potential difference can be measured using this equation called as nernst equation see this equation e equal to minus rt by nf ln of c1 by c2 so here we are using natural logarithm here e means electrode potential r is resistance T means absolute temperature, N is balance of ions, then F is Faraday constant, C means concentration. So C1 represents concentration of ions in the solution, C2 represents concentration of ions in the electrode surface. Now let's move to recording problems. While we are recording this bipotential, what are the problems arised? Let's discuss now. What is the necessity for recording the biopotential? What is the need of medical recording? So if you are recording the biopotential, that based on the recording, the doctors can take exact decision. So better clinical decision making can be possible using medical recording report. And based on that only we can give proper treatment to the patient so that we can save the people. So while recording there is a possibility for addition of noise in the bio signal so noise is playing an important role sometime we will amplify the signal sometime while measuring this bio signals the strength of the signal may be very weak so that we may amplify but the amplifier output may not always an accurate representation so the amplified signal may have noise so this amplified signal is having desired voltage and unwanted voltage. Desired voltage is called as actual signal. Unwanted voltage is called as noise. Now the noise may be created due to electrode to electrolyte. First we should know what is electrode, what is electrolyte we should know. First the base layer that is called as electrolyte. Electrolyte means our body is filled with fluid that is called as electrolyte and the next layer on the electrolyte is skin skin surface on the skin surface we will keep the electrode okay so this is the layers for understanding i have shown this figure so due to this electrode and electrolyte the noise may be created so we have to choose proper material for maintaining stability Right. So silver silver chloride material is best for preparing electrode so that we can reach stability and we can reduce noise. Next the noise will be created at electrolyte to skin interface. See already we have discussed electrode to electrolyte interface related noise. Now electrolyte to skin. So between this, due to this connection, skin and electrolyte, the noise will be created. See here, we are using needle electrode and we are going to measure the potential across the muscles. 
the measured activity can be measured by using this EMG signal. So while we are measuring that, the noise may be generated. So to avoid this noise, we can increase the diameter of the needle so that we can reduce the excess noise. Next one is motion artifact. So motion artifact is called as error, movement error. Sometimes we may move the electrode while we are going to fix the electrode on the patient. Sometimes the electrode may be shifted either in perpendicular manner, otherwise in parallel manner. There are two possibilities there. So due to the movement of electrode or due to the movement of patient, there will be changes in the potential. Also, it will create some noise. So that we have to use high quality electrodes to avoid this motion artifact. So this artifact may be created due to the parallel movement or due to the perpendicular movement. So if the electrode is moving in parallel manner, the artifact value will be 400 to 600 microvolt. If the electrode is moving in perpendicular way, then the potential changes up to 900 microvolt. So this motion artifact can be avoided by using plastic cup. See this figure? See, this is plastic cup. See, this is made by stainless steel. It is coated with silver. The next layer is silver chloride. And it is gel soaked sponge. Here we can apply gel. So, if you are using this plastic cup, we can avoid slippage. So, that we can reduce motion artifact. Next, the noise may be created due to cable movement. Definitely while measuring the potential, we will use cable. If the cable is moving, it may create some artifact. So that we can avoid this by amplifying the signal before it enters the cable. Okay. So after measuring the bioelectric signal, immediately we have to amplify that. Then only we have to pass the signal to the cable and to display device. So that we can avoid this artifact. The same point only. Different electrodes with the amplifier circuit can be attached to reduce the noise. Next noise is thermal noise. So this noise will be created due to the movement of charged particles into the circuit. So every resistor will produce certain amount of noise. The formula for thermal noise is thermal noise. So thermal voltage TH represents thermal voltage equal to square root of 4K TRB or TBR. So here K represents Boltzmann constant, T represents temperature, V is the bandwidth, R is the resistance. Next, the noise may be created during amplification. We know that amplification involves two functions. It is used to increase the resolution of the signal and also it will increase the signal to a noise ratio. This is amplifier. Sometimes the signal strength may be very low. Suppose if we want to pass the signal to ADC. So before passing to ADC, what I have to do? I have to strengthen the signal. Then I have to pass to ADC. Correct? So during this amplification, sometimes noise may be introduced. That is called as amplifier noise. So then the total noise formula will be given as VA squared equal to, that is A means amplifier voltage or amplifier noise equal to Noise due to voltage, Vn. I means current. So, noise due to current. Is it means impedance. So, is it e, electrode impedance. So, this is the formula for amplifier noise. Other noise sources. Due to the usage of synthetic clothing, the noise may be created. And also, while using some electrosurgical units, it may create some noise or interference. So, it can be avoided. By choosing proper clothing while scanning or while measuring these bioelectrical signals. Also, we can use shielding. Also, we can keep the recording equipment somewhat distant from the source of interference. Okay, so I hope that you have understand the recording problems and what are the different kinds of noises created while recording. Now, for understanding the concept of noise, you can do a simple task. The concept is generation of noisy signal. You can create a noisy signal. You can understand what is original signal, what is noisy signal. So first you can generate a sinusoidal signal. 
using any software platform you can choose matlab or python and first step is you have to generate a sinusoidal signal now the second step you have to create one noise signal you can choose random noise signal otherwise gaussian noise signal you have to add both the signals you have to choose both signal with same length so that only you can add now you can add the noise with the original signal and you will get the output signal that is called as noisy signal now you have to plot all the three signals so you have to plot the original signal second step you have to plot the noise signal third step you have to plot the corrupted signal or noisy signal so three signals you have to plot right the simple coding i have shown only one figure but you can plot all the three figures separately so that you can understand what is sinusoidal signal how the noise is added and how the shape of the sinusoidal signal is changing you can understand from this so i hope that you have understand today's concept thank you for